Hey guys, what's up? It's Spooky one one here, and today we're going to be going over the new Flatlands Builder from DK. So let's head over, and I'll show you what you can do with it. Okay, so here we are in um, one of the worlds I created earlier. Um, I use this using the new Flatlands Builder wizard, um, and it basically allows you to set up different plots with different roadways um, going between them. You can have plots ranging from 64 um, blocks being the minimum, um, going up to 128 I believe, but it could be higher, I'm not totally sure on that one. Um, and you've got nice roads going between them as well, which you can set all of these blocks to whatever blocks you like. So I've used grey wall as the walls going around the plots, and I've used a white wall as the roads, and then a grey wall for the plots. Um, so you, know, you, you can really make it your own place and make it your own design, um, which is something that's really great about the new Flatlands Builder Wizard. As before, it wasn't the simplest to get these designs, but now the new Flatlands Builder Wizard, it, it just helps you along all the way, and it tells you what you need to do and what you need to type. Um, it's great. So uh, let's head over and we will show you how to do it. Right, so first we're going to type in forward slash flbw, which stands Flatland Builder Wizard, and we're going to type create and then the world name. So I'm just going to call it World One. Okay, so it tells us what we need to do next. So to continue and set our our kind of settings, we can either use the the default ones, which literally you just have to type defaults and then one more command and your world's created, which I'll show you how to do now very quickly. Um, or you can actually customize how you want everything to look. So you can customize the wall block, the path blocks, um, the plot sizes if you want plots, um, what color blocks they are col they're colored in with. So you know you can really change it and make it your own sort of place. So we're going to go for a default one first. Use a default. Sorry, my typing is a bit slow today. Defaults. And you can see there it's going to create um, a default one if we type in that command. So it tells us what commands we need to be typing, which is pretty much what the wizard does. It's really good. It tells you what you need to be typing. So you, you, you don't really get mixed up anymore like you did before. So mv create world one um, and then normal flat and flat there we are okay so now it's going to create it and it's done so if we teleport over there with mvtp um, create oh sorry mvtp world one Oh, we put a space in there, didn't we? Yep, that'll be why. There we go. So you can see here we have a default world. It's pretty plain. It's just a you know a black flatlands basically. Um, so that is your default settings. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can go down a couple of bricks. Look. Um, so they they're your default settings. They're kind of boring. You know, they're not really anything that special. So let's create something else. So fl vw uh, create world. Two. Okay, so let's make something better this time. So we're going to create our own one. So for slash fl bw um, and then height. So we can choose how high we want it to be. So we're going to go for 30. Okay, so now we're going to change um, what mode we want. So that'd be what kind of grid you want. Do you want a grid one, grid two, grid three, grid four, which you can all see previews of on the DK um, uh, the dev page under bucket. Um, so we're going to put mode um, grid 3, for example. Um, so now we're going to choose block 1, so flbw oh, block 1, and what block we're going to use. So we're going to use 35, 9, which is like a nice blue kind of colour. Now we're going to set block 2. So it tells us how many blocks we have to choose and what we need to set them as. Um, so this one we're going to set as ooh, hmm, 35, 5. So we have a bright lime green. And what plots we want. So do we want to have plots basically? Um, we can have just checkers like a chessboard kind of design or we can have plots so that people can build in certain zones so you could almost have like a New York styled um, build in the sense that you got all your avenues all your roads and it's all in a grid so it's very easy to locate buildings so you could have like 
road A1 or A2, B3, etc. Um, you know, it just makes it easier for navigation, but then again, it depends on your build style, so it depends on what kind of thing you're going to go for. So we're going to turn on plots, because this is a new feature in Flatlands Builder, um, which is a really good one, I, li I have to say. It's, I, I like this feature. It's probably my favourite, apart from the wizard, because that is just genius. Um, plots, true. Okay, so now the plots have been enabled, and we can choose what size we want the plots to be. So if we just put um, plot size, and we're just going to put in one in so that we can see the sizes. So we got 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024. So you know you can have them really, really big if you want. So we're going to go for 128, I think. I don't want anything too big, but I don't want anything too small. So we're going to go for that size. Okay, so now we can choose what color path or what style block we want for our path. So I'm going to go for, um, ooh, what should I go for? I'm going to go for 98, which is um, the stone brick. So I'm going to go for that. And the wall block, so that will almost be like the, the curb. Um, I'm going to go for, let's just type the command in first. I'm going to go for 43. Uh, there we are. Okay, so now if we type 4 slash flbw done, you can see that it's given us what command we need to type in and it saved the world for us ready to create. So it's basically set it all up into a file and then all we have to do is lay out this command and it'll tell it what to do. So create world to normal g flatlands builder t flat okay so it's creating it let's head over mvtp2 oh no we want to go to world 2 all right okay so here is our our plot design so we got our road and um, we got almost like a sort of pavement bit where that's, that's the wall um, and then we got our plot design which is 128 by 128 blocks wide um, and they're the block colors that we went in so you could say you could set each one of these up as a different plot for players to build on um, but then again you can change it to different sizes and that's what I like about it. it's so great you can change everything th you can really personalize it to make it your land um, so if you're going for something like a city sort of build this is the perfect layout you want um, I mean it's got your roads it's got your plots what more can you ask for on this it's really good um, so that's your basic setup that's a flatlands builder wizard um, which is all new in the flatlands builder version uh, 0.8.0 um, it's a great feature from DKA, they've really hit the nail on the head again. Um, so yeah, that's Flatlands Builder um, with the new wizard. Um, so yeah. So there we are, that's how we use the new Flatlands Builder wizard. So a really great tool, I suggest you give an update now. Um, it's currently under beta, but by the time you're watching this video, it's probably on the full version. Um, so go ahead and download it, update your server with it, and make sure you keep this tool, because it's really handy to have for anything you need to do. Um, it's a great tool, and I really recommend it. So that's the DKE Flatlands Builder tutorial um, for the Command Wizard. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and make sure you go over and download that. Thank you, and goodbye.